What do you feel when you hear the word spider? A creepy feeling on your back? Or the wish not to see any of them in your life? But these striking creatures really deserve your attention, because almost every spider species has astonishing features to let you know about it. So, now I want to show you 10 of the most extraordinary spiders. Let's go! Looking at this gorgeous arachnid, you may just feel sorry that this creature is so small. This tiny cutie is just 0.3 inches long and is about the size of a pencil eraser. Like almost all spiders, peacock spiders are venomous, but they're not dangerous to humans at all. Peacock spiders have very little jaws, and they are so small they can't even bite through our skin. These spiders got their name from the small, bright flaps that the males have on either side of their bodies. They use it for attracting females, but these girls are very picky. To impress them, males have to dance. The dance of each species is unique, but most of them involve sensual leg waving and booty shaking. Peacock spiders don't weave webs to catch prey, as many other spiders do, but use their speed to hunt their very tiny prey. Just mention the black widow spider and you'll likely be greeted with exclamations like what? Where? But this spider species is not so monstrous as the culture pictures it. Though the female black widows do usually eat their male partners after mating, this is the bad news just for the males. And of course, black widows are venomous. The venom is very potent, considered to be about 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. It causes the condition called latrodectism, a very strong muscular cramp that can be very dangerous without medical help, but it's not fatal. Jumping spiders don't impress you with their size, being just about 0.2 inches long but they can do unbelievable things. Jumping spiders are able to jump upwards up to 20 inches in spite of being so small. If compared to humans, it's like if a person were able to jump 650 feet. To do such crazy things, jumping spiders use principles of fluid mechanics. They collect liquid in their legs, creating overpressure. When they jump, one second outflow creates additional force. Jumping spiders use their superpower for hunting, getting to the prey in a flash. Cyclocosmia is a spider that has not only a very strange name, but a very strange look, too. This bizarre arachnid obtains something like a wax seaboard on its abdomen. But why? This strange adjunct with a very unusual pattern is used for protection, of course. When danger comes, the arachnid crawls into its burrow with its head first and seals its entrance with its abdomen. Cyclocosmia refers to the trapdoor spider family. You can understand why. This family is now thought to be the oldest arachnid family on the Earth. Thomisidae is one more unique family of spiders, and their specialty is in pretending to be another animal. Actually, all the time they try to look and behave like crabs. This spider is able to move not only back and forth, but sideways too. Scientists still don't know what Thomisidae uses this ability for. And here is one more superpower of this spider. It can change its color to merge with the color, prevailing in the environment. With this skill, hunting gets much easier. Thomisidae spiders just sit on the flower or on the leaves and wait for their prey. Having such a weapon, they don't need to make a web. The Goliath bird eater is the king of spiders. It can weigh up to 6 ounces and has a leg span of nearly a foot. It's not surprising with such size that it is the largest arachnid on the planet. Goliaths don't usually eat birds in spite of their name. They prefer insects, but frogs and rodents are sometimes on the menu too. Despite such an enormous size, goliaths are not dangerous to people. They have fangs, but their venom is harmless to us. This arachnid is of the species that can make sounds. It rubs its legs together, producing it. This special spider, named Bagheera kiplingi, has a unique trait that stands it apart from more than 40,000 arachnid species. Yes, the majority of spiders are hunters, but not this one. Bagheera kiplingi uses a partnership developed between ants and acacia trees to feed itself. The trees employ ants as bodyguards against pests. In praising the insects for their work, acacia gives them a shelter inside hollow thorns. Besides, it feeds them with nutritious nodules called Belshian bodies that grow from its leaves. The smart arachnid has learned to steal this delicious food from the unlucky ants. Doing so, it has become the world's first known vegetarian spider. 
But as scientists know, spiders' digestive system is not adapted to deal with plant fiber, and they still don't understand how Bagheera kiplingi copes with it. Water spider is the only spider that lives underwater, but it has another very interesting name, a diving bell. They got this name because the web that they spin underwater looks like real diving bells. A water spider does the same thing, as it has a very interesting breathing system. The diving bell spiders actually breathe with organs on their abdomens. The arachnids take the air bubbles underwater, where they put them into their underwater diving bells. The spiders do this every 20 to 40 minutes, and they can breathe inside these constructions. Brazilian wandering spider has a lot of reasons to make you feel scared. This creature is known to be the most venomous arachnid in the world. You're not Sandy. You're it's a queen that. spider. <laughs> queen? Yeah. Oh, a banana spider, the Caribbean spider, okay. they're so friendly. The outstanding spiders can grow up to six inches in length, and they don't waste their time building webs or living in burrows like other spiders do. Instead, they find dark places to hide, and during nighttime, they come out hunting for crickets and other insects, along with lizards and frogs. Brazilian wandering spider has another name, which is banana spider. The reason is they often hide in bunches of bananas that are sent to overseas markets, just imagine your surprise finding one of them in your groceries when you get home. The venom of the Brazilian wandering spider can cause immense pain. The blocking of calcium absorption, inflammation, breathing issues, paralysis, and muscle spasms. And even a very unhappy ending if left untreated. Let me introduce you to the spider that has made the largest web in the world. Here it is, the Darwin's Bark Spider. It is a kind of so-called orb weaver spiders that build their webs in circles. Darwin's bark spiders live in Madagascar and are famous for their gigantic and extremely tough webs. One of the representatives of this species has released more than 25 meters of continuous strands. And this web is several times stronger than the material called Kevlar, which is a heat-resistant and strong synthetic fiber. Besides, the Darwin's bark spider silk is the toughest of any spider. This fact is remarkable indeed as spider silk is tough anyway and stronger than many artificial substances. And talking about webs, just look at these creepy trees completely covered with spider webs. But this scene is not from a horror movie. It is from Sindh, a Pakistan province that in 2011 suffered greatly from a severe flood. The spiders, as other animals, had to save their lives and went upwards in the trees. There were so many spiders that their webs enveloped the trees completely. Yep, sure looks pretty scary. Hope I managed to change the general point of view about spiders. Please, tell me, did you like any of them? Which ones? Let me know in the comments below. See you!